Hello and welcome to Kairos Hospital Laboratory. My name is Eyangu James and uh, I'm going to be taking you through some bit of chemistry again today. Uh, my previous video had uh, we did a video on triglycerides. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you must have watched it. So today I'm going to take you in bits. Um, here with me is my setup. I already have a number of items arranged and uh, we're going to look at uh, total cholesterol first. So, to do total cholesterol, um, you need to get your items ready. Set the transfer pipette, automatic transfer pipette. Make sure it is at 1000 microliters. Uh, you need patient serum. This is already centrifuged, like you can see. And uh, you have some reagents. Okay. Alright, this is total cholesterol. So I want to help you answer the, the, the question of how you can do total cholesterol for a semi-automated uh, chemistry machine like this one which is a mind ray uh, BA88A so first you get out your reagent measure 1000 microliters So because we have to maintain a cold chain of this item, we take it back to the fridge. Okay. Alright, so you have to measure uh, patient serum. 10. You have to measure 10 microliters of patient serum and you add to the, the, the measurement you made uh, for total cholesterol. So we're dealing with one tube right now. If you're dealing with many tubes, then you'll have to label them. Okay? But for this case, um, you just have to keep it. Well, I'm not labeling because I'm running one test right now. This is 10 microliters. Now, we're going to introduce this into the mixture. We have a timer here. We are going to time this for 10 minutes. So, the 10 minutes. Okay, so we're going to have this uh, uh, mixture. Uh, we're going to have it intubate for at least 10 minutes, and after the 10 minutes, we can run the test. It will be ready for the test. Alright, um, welcome back. So we've been waiting for 10 minutes for total cholesterol to intubate 
and now the 10 minutes are done at least as I see by the timer. So here is our sample and uh, it's ready for testing now that 10 minutes are over. But what you should know about this uh, sample or this, uh, okay, this sample or this preparation is that the reagent can be very stable. This mixture can be very stable for up to two hours. So you have up to two hours to run your test. So if you're doing other things, it is okay. And please note that you can do total cholesterol, triglycerides, HDL simultaneously. You can do them at the same time. You run this, do that, do that, do this. But for purposes of simplifying, I have tried to isolate one test at a time. All right? So our, our, this is ready for, for testing. So how do you test? You come to the machine, you go to test, you select test, and then uh, first thing you have to do is you have to select the parameter that uh, you're going to use. I don't know if you can get a clear view on that. So you get, uh, uh, so it's, we're looking for total cholesterol. It is noted as TC on this machine, TC. So we select uh, TC. And, uh, all right, so we, we have to water blank first. Always, we have to make sure we water blank first. I have distilled water right here. Okay, on the screen it's running. Okay, when it beeps, it means it's ready now for the next. So you click on sample, uh, you go to use the previously, uh, okay, the use save reagent blank. You say OK, and uh, you're ready to test. So, get the probe right in there, and uh, click for the test. OK. So, we can see uh, right there, it's running, it's moving. It takes 12 seconds for the test, yeah? So now that it is done, you go to re return, you, you click return, you click result, and uh, because we have already done uh, the HDL for this client, we already have the HDL, that's why you might be able to see there is another uh, reading right there. But what you have up here is the total cholesterol, which we've just done right now, and it is for this client. In case you want to add the details, you have to first select the Alcama star, at one corner and then when the stay is there you can uh, click uh, edit which is somewhere around there you click edit and uh, under edit you can enter the information of the client and when you're done you say save and after saving you can return to that window so as, as far as saving is concerned and putting in those other details I think we shall look at that in another video uh, this being strictly for total cholesterol all right, so that is, uh, and then you can of course run the print if you want uh, to print. There is a thermal uh, printer in built for this machine. You can just click print and you'll have your result printed out on a strip. So that is it for total cholesterol. If you have any questions, please, you can write to me. You can email me. Also, you can leave your comments below this uh, video that uh, we've just had. And uh, please feel free to share. And don't forget to hit the like button, thumbs up, that is below this video. Thank you very much for watching.